Hi, this is Saif again. Uh, welcome to EGTV Presents Tech View, another episode. So in this episode, I'll show you how you can attach a shell storage with your ESXi environment. So this is, uh, I'll show you step by step in easy way. Let, let's get started. All right, so this is the data store, NAS storage, my cloud. If you, this is a, like uh, as a demonstration I'm showing you, I'm, I'm just showing you, but um, in your real environment, like in your enterprise level environment, maybe you can have um, much better than this storage system. Maybe you can have uh, enterprise level NAS storage or iSCSI center storage or FC center storage. There's a three sense storage, three types of storage you can attach with your ESXi environment, your VSPAR environment or your VMware environment as a shell storage. So in this video, especially I show you how you can attach a, a NAS storage. So you have to have a NAS device. So this is a very cheap and easy to use my cloud storage, it has a NAS um, capability. So NAS means network attached storage, and it has an NFS, network file system. It is used NFS. So, and this iCloud has NFS capability. If you go to the share, you see here NFS 01, NFS 02. So I have created two NFS share here. You can, if you can see here, um, this is my IP address and I'm going to Actually, uh, I need this information, but I don't need the whole information. So if you have this kind of device, you can do exactly the same thing. The public is uh, on and only, uh, and uh, another one is all, which is an NFS access. And on the configuration, just hit a star like this. Then you can use the same storage with all of your SXI. Just star here, okay? Okay, and then just copy this. Actually, I need only this information. Nothing else and rest of them, I know I have what I need to do. Just copy this one and go back to your ESXi host. So in my, this ESXi host, I have only two local storage. If I want to add one more data store here, what I, what I need to do, let's see. Okay. So left side storage, right click on here and then say new data store or you can click new data store here. The same thing, you're gonna get it. And in here, you're gonna get total force um, options, mount NFS data store, right? So click on mount NFS because network attached storage use NFS, um, use NFS, so click on mount NFS data store, network file system. Click next. So provide a name, it name doesn't matter, it's up to you. So you can say NAS01 or something, it's up to you completely. And NFS server, what is the NFS server? This is my NFS server, that means my storage IP address, the, the, my storage uh, IP address or, or the NFS storage name. But it's not showing here the uh, like IP address, but I know what is the IP address, IP address is here, is here, 10.15.0.9. It's in my storage, but in your case, it can be different. It can be different. It's up to you or the place you're doing. So I know it's 10.15.0.9 and then NFS share, which is this one, slash NFS slash NFS 01, which one I created for this share, right? And, and make NFS version three, because this one support NFS, uh, my cloud, this one support NFS three, not four. By default, is NFS3 selected, click next and finish. You see how easy, very simple, right? It's already added. Now, if you go click here, go browse the store, you're gonna see I have a lot of ISO already uploaded here. So you can easily install it. I already uploaded all those things in this data store. So the same storage, you can add it with the other host. So we have another, let's see. 10.15.15.10, this is another one. Oh, somehow this one is turned off. Okay, anyway, we can do it later. So, I'm able to add NAS storage. So 
if you have a multiple SXI host, you're gonna do the same thing, same way. So now I have total how many storage? Three storage. Out of three, two of them is local, and this one is share. And this share storage we can share with other ESXi host. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And um, if you like this video, please make some comments, which is encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up. And also, if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.